Hi, I'm Miriam Burr, and in this video, I want to talk to you about how to get the most out of hiring an intern. I read an article in the Wall Street Journal, and I want to share some strategies from the experts and entrepreneurs who they interviewed. One of the things that they shared is to lay out the ground rules. Be clear and specific on the behavior and the performance that you want. So the expectations that you want, make sure that you be clear, be specific on those. Also address the basics from dress code to how much time you need before they take time off. Stress professionalism. It actually gives them a feeling that they're part of the company. You can even give them a desk, computer, a phone, even add their name and photograph to the website and that also kind of gives them a sense of belonging. The second thing that was covered was figuring out the roles. The intern actually has their own expectations and the roles that they want to learn about. And that, the idea of finding out where to place the intern and what the intern should learn and should do, that tends to be the most challenging part of the whole process for a business owner. Sometimes the intern has specific requirements. Perhaps they're doing it because they are earning class credit. So the school actually kind of stipulates what requirements that they need and sometimes they even, they even limit the types of tasks such as clerical duties so that makes it a little bit easier for the business owner. At the same time you want to use the skills that the intern brings so one of the other things that was mentioned was to kind of keep an eye and figure out what the strengths that this person has and actually put them in actual situations and experiences where you can show them off. Now do keep an eye on them and provide feedback but at the same time you know it's also great to know that that person is bringing something really innovative to the table and you can use it in, in your company. Another thing that was mentioned is if you um, if you know that they are great with research or maybe social media that is a bonus because now it's becoming a trend that small businesses that are offline are going online and so the use of an intern in that arena can really benefit the business owner and lastly be a role model this can be very valuable to the intern because they actually can see roles and different types of performance done in action. They can observe that in action. So if at all possible, take them to trade shows and have them attend meetings with employees, the staff, or it could be customers or even outside partners so that they have an idea of the inner goings of the business. In addition, you can also kind of provide them with a sense of your thinking. You know, what is your thought process? So you can allow them to shadow you even while you're reading a report. You know, think out loud and kind of let them know what is it that you're looking for in that report because it is a learning experience for that intern. Even if you also have somebody that's overseeing the intern, you have a staffer over them, you can actually create specific set, specific time assigned, regular time with the intern so you find out what they're learning, what their experiences are. Typically in a small company versus a large corporation, interns have more of an opportunity to have one-on-one -on -one communication with the owner and oftentimes titles can be very valuable 
um, not so much because of, of the name, but because of the mere fact that an emphasis is being placed on that person and they're learning from you know, the head of the company. And that tends to be a very meaningful and lasting experience. So there are three areas that I talked about, several strategies within those areas, um, laying out the ground rules, figuring out what the role for the intern um, could be or should be, and lastly, being a role model for that intern. So with that, I am Miriam Burr, and I will see you in my next video.